gliding dumpster to dumpster. Ulta, they threw away all their makeup. Matt Malone skates along his side hustle. Not every day is a beautiful day. Diving for treasure. There's a lot of washers in there. Each night, a different surprise. They love to throw away furniture. Malone is what you'd call a professional dumpster diver, bringing in a considerable amount of cash on the side. I ended up making 100000 in one year as a part-time. Staying away from food and restaurant trash, Malone's treasure trove lies behind big box stores like Home Depot, Office Max, and Sears. When you take something back to a store, what do you think they do with it? Put it back on the shelf? Look on the shelves and tell me how many reboxed or repackaged things you Not many. So they throw them away. Once they're tossed, Malone dives in. He inventories his finds and posts them for sale on sites like Amazon, eBay, and Craigslist. And then the worst case scenario, you're having a yard sale. On tonight's adventure. Uh, behind Pier 1, what I'm finding is all kinds of, this is a brand new table. Are they new though? But look at the raw amount of product that goes in there. I mean, that's ridiculous. Computer speakers, brand new, in the box. Even a perfectly good voltage meter. Holy crap, a drill. This DeWalt cordless screwdriver in working order, valued over $100. Malone continued through the night after our cameras stopped rolling, finding commercial grade LED lighting, credit card readers, a Macintosh Classic 2 computer, something that collectors are paying 100 bucks or more for on eBay, and cases of ceiling lights, each one going for about $20 each. But his biggest find of the night? How much is it? $279.99. What? And how did you just did that by scanning it? Yeah. This brand new Cherrywood desk tossed with everything still in the box. Actually, all of our furniture in my house is basically stuff like this. This one's a whole kit. Besides product, Malone came across some personal information. I, I found Donald Trump's cell phone number. Someone had thrown away a Rolodex, and it was a big wig, obviously. He was in Los Angeles at the time. We actually called Donald Trump at the time he wasn't the president. So that was interesting. What did he say? Uh, they basically told me to, it was a, a short, very brief message. <laughs> <laughs> Not to call again. So has anyone ever caught you in their dumpster? Yeah, and, and I'm, I have no fear of that. But if they, I also respect them, and, and if they say, hey, get out of my dumpster, I get out of their dumpster. I also don't leave it messy, I leave it clean. After cataloging everything, Malone estimates he can sell tonight's finds for a little over $3,000. Not bad for putting in a few hours of work. Marla Carter, 13 Eyewitness News. While $100,000 a year sounds great, we are not suggesting you copy what Malone does. In fact, we reached out to Waste Management about the idea, and they strongly caution against it, telling us, quote, a dumpster is not a safe place to seek shelter, sleep, or hunt for treasure. If someone is inside a trash or recycling dumpster when it is emptied into a truck, there is significant risk of injury or death.